Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Etude Rise Out 2. Well, between the episodes I played around with the alchemy pot a little bit. I saw how many recipes we can make now if we just have the resources. Morph changed everything. It opened up the recipe book to no extent. First, I thought, maybe we thought, that the skill tree would unlock everything. It just opens up the base levels. And from there you need to make it through morph in the alchemy process itself. So it's a little bit of the new, a little bit of the old, opening up so much more. And when I prepared the ingredients so we can make our woodcutter's eggs, because I wanted to make that so we can get more stuff on the outside, especially some of the hardwood so we might be able to go towards a buck net pretty soon as well. I uh, got a whole lot of pop-ups and I decided to just check on them. And look at this, so many stories just popped up. Like go back to Cassandra, would be very nice to do. So there's again a whole lot of scenes in the making for us. So it's almost like uh, when we went to that ruin, we opened up everything. So many scenes, so many different branches of stories we can follow. So it might get a little bit confusing at times, but we're gonna see if we can keep up with the story as much as we can. Because this is what we're here for, this is what we like. Character development. So now we need to make sure that if we have part A, that we don't do part B like six episodes later, because we might have forgotten what happened. So. Uh, first thing I want to do, I want to make that woodcutter sex. Uh, after that, if the scenes will allow us to, uh, I will teleport ourselves back to the ruins and complete that. And after that, we're going to go all around town, trying to see if we can uh, pick up on all those little story quests, at least until the end of this episode. So, let's get things started and <laughs> start using alchemy, baby. Yeah, and as we saw uh, last time, uh, if the icon is not filled, then we haven't made the item yet. If there is a page in front of it, there is a recipe in that actual recipe. And that we of course will uh, want to learn as well. And that's how I got the recipe for the energy pendant. Because I tried to make, uh, not alchemy fibers, because we don't have the cotton before that yet. I was trying to make some, where is it, the polishing stuff. Yeah, here, polishing powder. And while I'm creating that, I found the recipe for energy pendant. And now we got a pendant for the quest with the thief. And we have polished powder to make our wood axe. And hopefully with the wood axe we can get that little log we see in the middle, which we haven't found yet, by cutting down big old trees. But yeah, let's make the wood axe. And like I said uh, before, for now, we just want to make it. And eventually we want to uh, create something that's even better, like with top chopping skills and stuff like that. Because if I want to get to capable chopping, I need to put five logs in it. I can imagine with the woodcutter's axe, we might get better wood than one that has two or even three ice crystals on it. So yeah, gotta keep that in mind. Effect. Uh, I do want... At least one level of that effect. Uh, and, and, and again, once we get better items, we can probably also unlock the traits and go all the way to this recipe, which is the Goldotarian. Which, if I remember correctly, in Rise of 2, uh, Rise of 1, was one of the end uh, gear uh, recipes. So the morphing thing unlock new recipes, but we also need to keep in mind, it's not recipes necessarily that we can make now, but recipes we will eventually be able to make. Because we definitely want a golden axe. Just because it's called a golden axe. You know, but I like the old uh, arcade games. Alright, metal. Ooh, we can even use scrap metal. Doesn't have to write the uh, element, but other than that. Looking good. So let's do gathering for a little extra quality. Open up traits. Oh, that is uh, no, the wrong element. So we want, we should be able to do two restrained silk, which we only have one quantity item left. So 
that would have uh, absolutely no benefit. So I want to put it in here and get nice chopping. Just that means that we can get some more result out of it, if I understand correctly. Uh, I think we can look here. No, it's not in there yet. So nice chopping is uh, released. I don't think we can... No, we don't have a top tier ingots just yet. Uh, here, same thing. We cannot get to gathering up M. We cannot get to capable chopping. What will happen if I do put... Uh... Damn, look at all the trade transfers we can uh, select. Uh, what would be beneficial for what we are doing here? Item effect, it could be nice. This is actually the only one that looks to be befitting and doesn't have... Oh! Alright, I need to click it twice. <laughs> Anything that we can unlock on this? I don't think so, no. It's probably because they're all... Um, they have no purpose on a woodcutter deck, so yeah. So it doesn't really matter. At least not at this time. Tutorial Woodcutter's Axe. Equip the axe to use the to gather new materials. Hold LB and press R to switch between gathering tools. Highlight the woodcutter's axe here. Now press X and swing away with that axe. With an axe, you'll be able to harvest all sorts of materials from the trees and other things that are too hard for your staff. Hitting an enemy with it will reduce their defense at the start of battle. Ooh, that that's really good. Did the others have something like that as well? Mm. Why is LB doing that? I was probably just out in the field, because I know that LB will switch around with our tools, but we cannot use tools in here, can we? Yeah, that's that's more logical, but let's equip the X. Mm. So now we have uh, three, the basic starver. We have the... Is it a size? Sickle and the X. Okay, and of course have the wind shoes and the... Emerald Band as Adventuring Tools. Again, these are the basic ones. Eventually, we might want to upgrade to a better quality with a little bit more effects on it. If at all possible. But, like I said, there's something we need to build uh, towards. All right, all right, all right. So, that's it for the woodcutter. That means, hopefully, that we will be able to break apart those little pile of rocks. Of course, they did say that you can use this on a little bit harder surfaces, so let's hope that is uh, the case. So yeah, let's pick up the map, go to the maintenance catacomb and see if we can finish off what we were busy with. And I think we can go straight to the bell ringer's path, because we did everything we could find here in Memory Garden. Uh, we only have one part left here with two pads that had story scenes, so let's go and get right into that. And we can! Beautiful! What I do hope for is that eventually we'll be able to like break down uh, some of our items into gems we can later use for another thing but i think that will take a little while because we did see the uh, gem 
a reduce skill in the tree but we didn't see the actual uh, gem reduction uh, equipment for it so i think it's something that we still need to find or unlock so let's uh look at the map yeah i want to go to that square where the purple ring is around because i think that's a separate location and we can try and do that or <laughs> if there is a yellow part here we can do that the tale of the kingdom of the dead. Oh no, you don't. Scrap paper. Okay, so there is supposed to be a scene happening as soon as we go to the room fragment there. Well, maybe throughout the ages there were knights being ordered by their king to explore these ruins to figure out what was here for their benefit. Research? Information? I don't know. That would be a very big assumption because, like I said, these runes are so old. I can imagine that hundreds of people might have been able to try to get in here. I'm sure it was. A doom guardians. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, get more over that. And a blacksmith tool. Beautiful. <laughs> and there we can uh, find a new swing. Ah, can we not swing that? Ooh, careful. Uh, just a lot of crystal. Ooh, I kind of want to be there. Alright, so this is one uh, of the scenes. So what's the other one going to be? Probably a way to go and move forward. Because this was the thing here. We needed to actually fall on the floor. Ooh, red light. これ他の残されてた信念と違うみたい。この遺跡のことがいろいろ流れ込んでから。ライザ、大丈夫？あ、うん。ちょっとぼーっとしちゃってた。それよりこれのおかげでこの遺跡のことが少しだけ分かったよ
中でもこの壊れてる大金は特別なものだと思う具体的にはわからないけど金なんだし鳴らしてみたら何か起きるかも<笑> Probably a boss fight of some sort そんないい加減な罠とかだったらどうするんですかそれにこの金絶の部分が壊れちゃってるから鳴らせそうにないですよあららでもここだけ直せば音を鳴らせるかも気になるのはわかるけど今鳴らしたって意味ないんじゃないかなそれもそっかでもちょっと気になるのは<笑> We're gonna ring it, isn't it? Uh, restoring ruins. There are important areas that can be found in ruins that have ceased to function as they were designed to. You'll be able to restore these areas if you discover the reason why they are inactive and the way to fix them. In order to do that, you'll have to solve the mysteries of the rune crystals. The crystal will appear framed in gold in the exploration diary. When you complete the entry of any of the crystals, you will receive the recipe you will need to restore the ruins. You will first need to complete the items on the research list to make the memories of the ruins visible. When you clear the research list, you will be able to analyze both the rune crystals and the rune fragments. When you visit new runes, start by following the instructions in your research list. Silent bell, okay. Well, we're gonna make it very loudly eventually if I'm uh, able to. But does it mean that they're giving us the possibility to reactivate these runes? Maybe restore it to its former glory? It would be cool, but it also sounds like a massive undertaking. There's nothing here, so let's see. Let's uh, say hi to our uh, slimy friends. Bejeweled hand bell. More references to uh, the belling. Alright, it seems like a corner of thing. What is that? Again, like just like I said, it could have been a beautiful place when it was uh, still in its original state. Now we definitely need to take care of those two before we get access to that uh, memory. <laughs> Which is memory, all right. Ooh, two more to get his ample skills. Do you get it now? And there it is, unlocked. <laughs> and we got a few extra core as well. That was a pretty good find. We got a lot of uh, things. Loose from the. Ooh. Did I see the red? Did he get aggression? <laughs> Slightly increases attack power. Don't mind that. Not at all. I never knew there was such a place on the ground. Why did you create it? These are the graves of people dear to be at the beginning. They were but a few, but now. And loads and loads of souls. <laughs> ah. So you can get cotton from those uh, silks. Probably very low. I think we'd better if we just find a cotton plant in order to do so. Uh, let's see, how's the map? All right, so we have basically three places left to go and four 
unlockable spirits to find in this. No, we can do that. Ancient England, alright. Don't mind if I do. I haven't found anything in this in recipes, but I'm pretty sure it's there. Twin Edge. Is that a new level for him, or is that the same weapon we already have? No, definitely not uh, the old one. Okay, so the uh, defense goes back, but our attack goes up. I don't see any added effect on uh, the weapon that will justify us using it. I think I'm going to go with the uh, cross jackets for now, the double attack ones. Because the extra defense should not be underestimated. At least for now. Oh, one way to find out. Uh, we have mastered the art of magic blacksmithing. But without the workshop, there's nothing we can do. But we must repay our debt to the witch who fought alongside us. We have to do whatever we can to help. That sounds like a tremendous battle was waged here at one point. Huh. Interesting. Wait, can we break this too? Yes, we can! Nectar rock! Oh. That's a new one. I can't remember that from uh, the previous uh, Ryza. And that uh, takes us out of fear. Mm, I don't think I want to do that just yet. So I'm guessing we're going back. I always have a tendency to go the right way whenever I'm exploring an area. I should learn to stop then doing that. <laughs> Recurrent flower note. Man, there's so many clues in here. The puzzle that we need to do here is gonna be tremendous, isn't it? Wait. Maybe this is what we could do in the other room as well. Ah. Now I got a feeling some people might have been sc uh, screaming at the screens for uh, me not doing this. I'm on gemstone. Perfect one. I want that. Uh, do you have to say what you want, but uh, <laughs> that is really cool, that skill. I do not mind having that. Tale of a White Moon Messenger. Does it not mean that we have everything here? We do. Okay, so this room is totally done. So I think the best thing we can do now is move forward. Can we jump down there? No, that's a little bit too far, so we need to go all around. Garden of Reincarnation. 
wow, th these ruins are huge compared to the first one. It's like it blew up into greatness. Because I think we just we have access now to the full scope of the thing. And that's a big ass crystal. Okay, let's find an enemy here. I want to see how strong it is. No, it's, it seems that all the enemies have the same strength throughout the entirety of the dungeon. Which is a very good thing to know. But the real reason I wanted to know was basically that big crystal over there. It could be a boss. So I want to know if... If every section creates stronger enemies, then are we ready for a potential boss fight there? Where did it flag? Okay, so the, where the circle is, the blue circle, that's probably where the story wants us to go. So I'm gonna jump to the other side first. So let's see what that crystal is, but it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Okay, this is continuing on with what we read earlier, that we need to restore the bell and its function. We are now finding the item to repair it. Clapper is a big part for a bell. Without it, you don't have any sound. とか。鳴らした方がいい気がするんだ。タオさん、どう思います Get a new piece of it. Shinpi,的な力があるのか。Shinpi,的な気持ちにさせられてるだけなのか。謎だな。Tora! <laughs> a new piece of ore, probably for the Ark Knight Ignit, maybe. Which was a recipe I think we saw in another type of tree. Tale of the Magical Valley. Yeah, you might be sure that we can try and do the clues now, but I want everything before I start it. Because if we have everything, we can solve everything. Because that's in the end what we need to do before we can restore this place, right? Okay, let's see if we can uh, defeat that heinous little cloud over there. It's probably also part of unlocking stuff in this room anyway. あれ、行き止まり変だな。まだ奥があるはずなのに。Uh, but I think that's not a door. I think that's a gate. I think it needs to move up instead of forward. ダメだ。びくともしない。この奥にある建物みたいなのが気になるんだけどな。一度戻ろうか。だね。そんなんだけど。どうしたの、フィー? <laughs> I think Fee feels something bad behind it. Look at his eyes.
遺跡と何かしらの関係があるフィーがこんなに反応してるってことはやっぱりあの建物には何かあるってことなのかもそうじゃなくてもフィーがこんな必死に訴えかけてきてるんだものこのまま帰ったりなんてできないよね誰よしもう一度あの奥に見える建物に行く方法を探してみよう Well, there must be a switch of some kind if they're making so much of a fuss about it. A mind lurker. Jesus Christ. It looks very, let's say, uh, vicious, but I think that's just. I think it's a sheep in disguise. Okay, next round we'll use your magic. <laughs> Not a problem. And Angel Silk. That looks like an item that's one level beyond alchemic fibers, isn't it? Same item, just a different golden color. <laughs> really nice though. Damnation! I have failed. I tried to replicate the missing part, but I cannot ring the bell with this. All the materials are right, I'm sure of it. But it seems it is too reckless to try to recreate this by hand. If only I'd use the alchemy of the lost kingdom, then maybe. So yeah. So uh, alchemy is the way forward. It's the only way we can make something precise enough to uh, activate the bell. That, that's what it's saying here, isn't it? Alright, uh, let's see. This part is done. Uh, I say let's uh, look at the other side of the ruins. Maybe that will find us a clue in opening the door. Hmm, another hanging spirit. And a golden golem. Ooh. Nightmare spirit. I have to be honest. These creatures, they seem more impressive, but they're just the same kind of enemies, but with a uh, black uh, fog around it. Alright, finish it. And sky bubble. Oh, I still need the bubble, uh, bubble uh, herb uh, for one of our quests. We're getting so many different items here. More memories? Uh, so it's done. It's certainly strong enough to prevent anyone from getting the treasure hidden within. We must not let anyone find this. I shall place a seal on the gate until the day the bell rings. Alright, there it is. There's the answer which I already thought it was going to be. Ring the bell. Gain access to uh, what's behind that door. Yeah, so no matter how you look at it, we, we need to ring that bell, so we need to make it. Uh, which way to walk? Can we jump on there? Oh, no, 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 no. It, it's a way back when we open up the door, okay. But how then are we gonna get to the other side? Do we need to re recreate that uh, bell part? Then ring the bell, we'll open up the door, get us to the other side of it and swing over to that part? 
It does seem to look that way, doesn't it? Right. I uh, guess it's time to uh, head back to the alchemy, uh, at the uh, alchemy place, and see if we can create that bell. <laughs> so standard. <laughs> no, she wants something that uh, will catch the ongoer's eyes. That like, hey, what the hell is that? And then when they're into the store, then you try to sell them this mundane stuff. どれだけお店が繁盛していようとも、そこの店主が物足りない気持ちでいるんだもの。店主が物足りないと感じているなら、お客はもっと物足りなく感じるはずよ。早急に改善点を洗い出さないと、取り返しのつかないことになるわ。
But what it is, you'll need to wait. Maybe not even the next episode, but the one after that. Because I think I wanted to uh, change it up every a little bit. Uh, so I want to next time I want to do a little bit of more story related stuff around town because we've unlocked a lot of stories and then go back to the ruins, or the other way around. I I'm still not sure about that, but let's see what what, what you guys want. If you say uh, I want to change it up a little bit, do a part of a ruin one episode, do a part of town in the other, then we can do that. If you say, oh, if you go to the ruins, just do the entirety of the ruins at the same time. Mm, I can do so that. Bad. Just let me know what you prefer, and we'll do that definitely. But for now, we're done, and uh, I'll hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. See you then. Bye-bye.